Patient safety and quality is Philips' highest priority. We understand how important the sleep and respiratory care devices are to patients who use them. Sleep therapy devices, like the first generation Dream Station devices, are used to treat patients with sleep apnea, a condition that causes a patient to intermittently stop breathing while asleep. The Dream Station 1 delivers positive airway pressure therapy to help treat sleep apnea. The air enters the device through a filter and then goes to the patient through a tube. To reduce the noise of the Dream Station 1 device, while it is used by patients during the night, it contains a small amount of sound abatement foam. Dream Station 1 devices, produced till June 2021, use polyester-based polyurethane foam for noise reduction. There are two pieces of polyester polyurethane foam in the devices, with a total weight of approximately 5 grams and a total volume of approximately 80 milliliters. Like all foam, polyester polyurethane foam is full of air pockets. If we were to remove all the air, the total amount of solid material left would be equivalent to approximately 5 milliliters, or about a teaspoon. In June 2021, Philips Respironics initiated a voluntary recall notification related to the polyester polyurethane foam. At the time, Philips Respironics relied on limited initial data and assumed a worst case scenario for the potential health risks out of an abundance of caution. Since then, together with five independent certified testing laboratories and third party experts, we conducted extensive testing in accordance with the relevant industry standards. The testing measured, first, low concentrations of volatile organic compounds emitted from the foam, and second, particulate matter, which in this case would be small particulates of the sound abatement foam. We assessed thousands of sleep therapy devices in the US, Canada, Japan, and in Europe. 0.5% of the inspected devices in the US and Canada showed significant foam degradation. In Europe, that figure was even lower, 0.01%. And in Japan, even less, 0.001%. Based on testing to date, Philips Respironics and the third party experts concluded that potential patient exposure to foam particulate matter and VOCs in the sleep therapy devices is not expected to result in appreciable harm to health in patients. This was true, even under the very conservative and theoretical assumption that all the foam could degrade. Importantly, and independent of Philips Respironics, 13 epidemiological studies found no association between the use of positive airway pressure devices including Philips Respironics devices, and increased risk of cancer in patients with obstructive sleep apnea. To date, our comprehensive test and research program has conclusively found that any potential exposure to VOCs and or foam particulates is not expected to result in appreciable harm to patient health. Supplemental testing is ongoing. As a leading health technology company, Patient safety and quality is our highest priority. We understand how important sleep therapy devices are to patients and how they improve their lives every day and every night. We remain fully committed to completing the recall.